going on guys? Today's episode is sponsored by the Guggen Squad. We caught so many fish, Devin and I, probably 20, 30 fish in a matter of a couple hours on the Saucy Swimmer. You guys are gonna love this one, let's go. y'all welcome back to the channel Devin and I brought out the kayaks today to a private water fishing spot one of their premier properties actually this is Blue Bonnet Ridge there's also the teardrop lakes on the same plot of land but it's a separate reservation if you wanted to uh, fish these locations so Devin and I have this lake entirely to ourselves for the day and we can also fish uh, one more lake it's part of the reservation as well uh, I forget the name of it Mesquite Lake maybe this is the main the primary body of water that looks so sick there's a little breeze today the water looks clear it looks like there's tons of grass uh, there's some cuts in the back that really taper down there's peninsulas there's islands I feel like this is gonna be an amazing day of fishing we're getting out pretty early we didn't hit sunrise it's 942 in the morning and it's like 66 degrees I'm cold <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm up in Alaska, man. Is this what y'all deal with up in the north? Like, Devin and I are chilly. We're from Texas. So, we're gonna go ahead, unload the Old Town canoes, deck them out with all the goodies, and get to fishing, y'all. Come along. The struggle. One prop will do today. Did you pack enough uh, jackets? <laughs> I don't know. I just brought the one. She's got two on. <laughs> I might get cold. I got this. You got this. Easy now. Putting in the battery for the trolling motor. Thing last all day with this breeze it's gonna be nice Devin will probably be on this one using the spot lock feature on this thing if you guys have not checked out Old Town Canoes I'll leave this stuff linked in the description this is by far my favorite kayak we've ever owned autopilot 120 gotta check it out Devin and I on some of these longer trips like to utilize the top water rod storage by Yakima. So I think we got like seven combos in here plus that one park and pole which helps you anchor down in shallow areas on the kayak. We are locked and loaded man. Fully rigged and ready. Don't have to take up space in the cabin. Things are sick. I'm going to be using the pedal drive today, y'all. Devin and I are both pretty sore from CrossFit. She's got the spot lock, and I got the manual pedal. Torrance uh, snapped that prop off the other time when we were out. Basically, you just got to watch yourself, because if this isn't locked in place, the PDL system, and if it drops down on you and the prop is sideways, like this, it'll end up snapping it. So, you just got to be easy on these props. Whenever you drop it down, you want to make sure that it's vertical. Same thing happened with Alex and John B. The first time that we took out his pedal drives, those natives, he had to get a replacement prop as well because I think Alex dropped it down. Y'all probably can't hear a thing because it's windy, so clear water. This is so cool. Oh no. On the frog. First bite was on the frog right off the island. I think that was second cast with it too. I heard a couple fish blowing up. Figured I would throw it. Wasn't a bad decision, but I missed the fish. Fish, fish, oh yeah, oh, oh. oh yeah, come out, <laughs> come on, come on, get out of the grass, out of the grass, out of the grass. Hey, <laughs> spot luck is here. Answer your FaceTime. <laughs> oh, you switched it over, huh? I switched it up. 
fat this dude is. How big? How big is it? You think? Do you have the scale? I, I think I have the scale. Yeah. No, I have it. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So that was on Saucy Swimmer in that Gobi color. This is one of those uh, underspin hooks. And uh, just give it a little bit of flash. I'm starting off with that spinner bait. It's a little bit of windy breeze. That spinner bait, this grass in this pond is just really, really thick. So that Saucy Swimmer is just definitely a little bit more weedless. Pretty much two and three quarters. Not bad for the first fish out of the pond. There we go. <laughs> Almost right at the boat. <laughs> You're chasing it. Man, these guys go straight into the grass. They are not shy about going into that grass and they are so green. Matter of minutes. I know it's a little windy out here, guys. He uh, must have chased it almost right up to the boat. There we go. <laughs> Come on, you little dink. This is the shortest fattest fish I've ever caught. Yeah, he's like got a big old belly and a big old head and a little bitty tail. Go grow up. Yeah, you have the flash. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, there we go. My first one, Devin's showing me up with three to my, my one jackhammer with the stealth blade so it's clear and we're gonna get him back in the water. <laughs> You might be my best one of today. You just let me know when you want to switch. Hey, 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 flash. There we go. Bye, bud. There we go. A little bit bigger than my first one. Two pounder, getting hefty. Yeah. You're using the big size, right? The 4.8. the same size hook you think? This is clearly doing the trick. Devin's tearing him up on this. This is a, I would say quarter ounce and like four odd or something hook. We could probably go with a one size bigger on the hook, but you wanna just twist it on there. And then I like to kind of line it up and see where that hook needs to come out in the back of the body. That way I kind of get that perfect and the plastic isn't scrunched. Now that hook sits in that little recessed divot and that allows you to cut through the grass without getting uh, caught up. Yet when the bass go to grab it, they're gonna push that plastic down. You set that hook, you're gonna get them. And I think what's making the difference between the chatter bait, I was using that stealth blade and what Devin's been throwing this is, uh, is this flashy blade right here. She started off with a spinner bait. Anytime it's overcast and windy, that's kind of a go-to, but there's so much grass here that this non-exposed hook seems to work through just a little bit better and it's not as bulky I guess as far as the presentation goes as well like when you got that spinner bait there's kind of a lot to work through the grass so this seems to be doing the trick she's caught a bunch on it I'm gonna see if I can't get a few myself all right are we doubled up <laughs> Look at that guys, doubled up. They are liking these saucy swimmers, I tell you what. Come on guys, we gotta size up. We got a job to do. There we go. Right after it hit the water, that was another good one. Saucy swimmer, choked. I think that's the third or fourth fish for me, another probably two pounder. See ya. There we go. Oh, this might be a good one. I don't know, it's got me in the grass. I'm bringing all sorts of grass with me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't see it. Biggest freaking big, but short. What the heck? I don't know, it's got a freaking head of a giant. All right, guys, first, decent one of the day. It's so deceiving because this guy's head is so big. I mean, look at that guy's mouth, but he's so short and stocky, but look how wide this guy is. But let's go ahead and get it checked out. Oh, wow. We're looking at 4.45. <laughs> he's fat. <laughs> Dude, this guy is a chunk. 
Weston's caught a few. I don't even know. I think I'm up to like five or six fish. Windy day, got the spot lock on. Thank goodness for that spot lock because with most kayaks, I would have gotten totally pulled into the grass in that situation and it could have been bad. I could have lost that fish. Thank goodness I did not. Biggest fish of the day so far. We still have pretty much all day to go. We're out here on the Blue Bonnet Ridge property and we're gonna get some more for you guys. There we go. Oh, did he come off? He might have come off. Unless he's really small. Oh, he came off. There we go. Are you a fish? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well guys, it wouldn't be a proper vlog if we didn't have one dink. <laughs> no, he came off. Got one. All right. Oh, no. Shoot. Live and learn. Got to set that hook, y'all. Little guy. Smallest one for me of the day. One little look. See ya. All shapes and sizes will smash the saucy swimmer today. Okay, well, that was on the fall, like the next cast. I was turning off the GoPro right when he hit, so I turned it right back on, I think. Yeah, I'm recording. Oh my gosh. This was like three seconds after what just happened. I put that fish in the water, I turned off the GoPro to save the clip, and then as I did that, this guy bit while it was falling down. I'm starting to like this little cut back here. And anywhere I see grass on the surface, I'm, coast I'm casting right towards the edge of it. And then I'm just kind of cruising along here because I know the grass is only about a foot below the surface. So I'm just trying to keep a steady pace. Oh man, that, that could have been a decent one. That was a firm tug. So then again, it might have been a small one. Regardless, he grabbed the tail. So probably need a new swim bait whenever your tail's gone. Tip of the day, subscribe for more. Just had a hit. Oh, he's on. And a couple young bucks now. There we go. There we go. Got us one back here. <laughs> Screaming, man. <laughs> is this my is this my biggest one or is it a little guy? <laughs> All right. Found me a good one back here on the old sauce. See you, man. Water's chilly. See if there's anything else in this uh, last 20 feet of water here. What do we got? Hey, biggest one of the day. I'm gonna try. Woo! My biggest, I don't know about your biggest. He's hooked good. Oh, got him. I gotta try and top Devin's four and a half. She's caught already, so it's gonna be tough. That was a good one. Hmm. Got him. All right, he came back for it. There we go. This one's good too. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. Big old chunk in the back. I think this one just came off and then came back for it. That was cool. I set the hook and missed him, I think. And then he came right back for it. Saucy Swimmer's just getting smoked today. I think this one's toast. He looks to have come off the uh, hook there. Getting them out of the back 40, man. Look at this little nook and cranny. Whoo, juice box. Now let's let you go, buddy. We'll see ya. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Once again, man, we're fishing Blue Bonnet Ridge. Check this property out. Let me switch me up a saucy swimmer and get some mo. 
Hmm. That fish hopped up at my line, scared me, and then I just continued reeling, thinking I would go past him. I did, it bit it. I set the hook and I missed it. What the? Came back and I missed it again? Is this a joke? If it hits it again, I'll be in disbelief. But if I catch it, I don't know. Oh my gosh, it hit, it hit, it hit. It's a little fish. Oh my gosh, okay, that's the deal. It's, it's bluegill or something. Did you guys see it just tapping on the rod that time again? Okay, that settles it. Crappie or a, or a bluegill. Dang, had me tripping. It's biting it again. It's biting it again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's got to be a bass right over here like, as well. Yeah, something right towards us. Oh, nice. Maybe a two pounder. Oh, maybe a little bigger than two. <laughs> uh, it's two pounds. Yeah, it's good. Smoking them. Another one bites the dust. See you, sir. All right, we have made our way about as far back in here as you can get, but the bites seem to have stopped about a football field back. <laughs> I haven't gotten any hits in maybe 10 minutes. And I just wanted to, you know, curiosity had me thinking maybe there's some bass back up in here. It definitely looks a little bit more stained. The clarity's not as good. It's probably a little bit warmer water. And uh, that's all I've got for you. All right, guys, we're going to try and finish strong with the Battle Shad. This is the 7.5, one of the larger soft plastic swim baits that we own with an underspin. This is the Owner Beast Hook uh, Flashy Swimmer, and it is a 10 aught. Oh, I had one. Dang. Yep, yeah, right when I hit the water, I missed him. All right, y'all, everything is loaded up. The bite kind of tapered off, and we said so we're just going to go ahead and uh, we got it while the getting was good. Let's load up. We're going to try and hit the other pond on this property now, so you guys be looking out for that video. But we got on a hot bite on the Saucy Swimmer. Can't thank Guggen Squad enough for sponsoring today's video, which allows us to do things like partner with Private Water Fishing, for example, and come fish some unique properties for you guys. And also know that you have an opportunity to come fish this as well. If you want to sign up and become a member with Private Water Fishing to get exclusive access to a lake all to yourself for the entire day, go ahead and check out the link in the description and that wraps it up Devin caught some good ones I caught some good ones and we're gonna see what happens at this next pond y'all so subscribe turn notifications on if you want to see it <gasps>